Today I'm going to show you how to write down small numbers in standard index form. So if you're looking at a small number, the number has to be between 0 and 1. So we're looking at 0 point something numbers. Alright, so let's just quickly remind you, a number in standard index form will look like this. Where we've got a times 10 to the power of n. a is a number between 1 and 10. And and then you've got the times 10 to the power of n, so it's the amount of times you multiply this number by to give you the original number. All right. When you have small numbers though, the power is actually a negative number. Because this actually means you're dividing this number by 10 to give you the number which you have in the question. So let's have a look at example 1. So we've got 0.00018. So we make the first number between 1 and 10. So we're going to make it 1.8. So we put in our decimal point here. So then we've got to work out how many times we multiply, well, divide this number by by 10 to give us the number in the question. So the easiest way to do this is just to count decimal to decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have to move the decimal point four places. And just remember if it's a small number just make the power negative alright so it just actually means we divide in the 1.8 by 10 four times to give us that number so let's move on to example 2 so again let's make the first number between 1 and 10 so we're going to make it 7.65 and then we have times 10 to the power of something so again just figure out how many places we move the decimal points. That's the quickest and easiest way to do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So just remember to put a negative power there because it's a small number. So it's 7.65 times 10 to the minus 6. And our final example, example 3. So this time we've got 0 0.004. So again, your first number has to be between 1 and 10. So we're going to write this as 4.0, or you could just put 4 if you like. So we've put the decimal point here. So how many places has it been moved? 1, 2, 3. So we put times 10 to the power of minus 3. And that's basically it. So just remember, when it's a small number, you use a negative power. And that actually means you're dividing the original number by 10, not actually multiplying it. Okay.